what, what the mate is talking about. What's up, family? August Alcina went before the world and confirmed that he had a sexual relationship with Jada Pinkett Smith. Several days later, Jada called herself to the red table with her husband, Will Smith, and confirmed to the world that yes, indeed, she and August did have a sexual relationship. Well, it was one word that she used that really got everybody's attention, entanglement. She called her relationship with August an entanglement. August confirmed that, yeah, it was an entanglement. And a few days later, he dropped a song with Rick Ross called Entanglements. I heard the song, fam. I actually read the lyrics so that I could be sure that I was hearing what I heard. And let's just say that somebody got to die. Man, family, at this point, August Alcina is trolling. Dude need to just let it go. Man, you had your moment. It was fun while it lasted. Move on. Get you another woman. Because right now, you're looking sad, bro. Rick Ross said, leaning on my shoulder got her questioning my willpower. Jaded by her beauty, but her reputation real solid. Tell you all my darkest stories. Promise that you won't depart. Keys to over 40 cars left me with a broken heart. Still, I got to get around. Favorite artist was Tupac. That's just the first verse. Parts of it. Second verse, he said, uh, I'm half. He asked the question, I'm half. No, I ain't about to play with that. You left your man to F with me just to pay him back. <clears throat> In relationships, people split. Oftentimes, right after they split up, it's a very emotional time. Sometimes they get with other people for payback. Sometimes they get with other people for companionship. And sometimes it's just sex. This dude sounds like he was raised by a sucker, you know? He just don't really understand how to navigate through relationships. Dude, okay, you got your heart broke. You act like you the first mother to get his heart broke. There are greater men than us who have had their hearts broken and caught their snap, stood up on two, stayed down ten toes, and manned up. All this emotional shit, man, I can't dig it. I know some of y'all probably excited about it. Like, man, you know, poor August and other that. Okay. Again, fam, I mean, I'm, I'm not, I'm not a riding dude. I mean, I got a heart. But damn, I understand that when you play this game of love, it's a chance game. There's a chance it may work out. 
chance it may not work out. You take your bitter with your sweet. Whatever those moments were, man, you take that and you embrace it and move on. Some people have children together. After they break up, sometimes while they're still together, they call each other everything but a child of God once the love is gone. Then they break up, can't get along, talking about each other in front of the kids. See, because it really ain't about the kids, it's about them. That's how you know that it wasn't ready from Jump Street to have children. These are ch childish gestures. This is childish behavior, juvenile behavior. Once you give life, life is bigger than yours. So if you have a problem with this person that you procreated with, you try to be civil to each other at the very least because when you look back at the situation, there had to be some good times. You actually created a baby together, right? There had to be some good times. So what happens often is that people just focus on the bad part of the relationship. Oh, I'm hurt. My feelings was hurt. You did me wrong, but you did me wrong. Well, what about all the times that you got done right? That don't count for nothing. In life, you take your bitter, which is sweet. Will and Jada went their separate ways for a moment to so-called find themselves, to make themselves happy by themselves. Then you know that that means separation. And anything could happen in between that. Obviously, Will knew that she had an affair with dude. And in that discussion that they had at the red table, there was an implication that Will had done some things with somebody else himself. The two of them agreed despite all of that. We're gonna still make this work. They came back to each other to make it work. When you're separated, you run the risk of somebody infiltrating. And that's what happened. But despite that, they decided that they were going to get back together and try to make it work out. So what part of the game is this where the side dude, I was about to say the side chick because that's how he acted, where the side dude is all in his feelings and feel like he got to make a song and share with his co-writer, Rick Ross, the intimate details of the relationship. Because you know those lyrics that Rick Ross rapped were very personal. So he's sitting up there, yeah, man, I did, she did this, man. And I bet he was sitting there crying. Like, and I bet, I bet Rick Ross was like, <laughs> Got you, man. Now, what else happened? <laughs> I'll tell you something, man. As an artist, I wouldn't have done that song. I wouldn't have done that song. First of all, as a man, I wouldn't, wouldn't have done a, a song like that about the mother of my ch children. I wouldn't have done that. that. Uh, well, it wasn't the mother of his children, but, uh, but a, a woman that I was like deeply involved with. I wouldn't have done something like that and put those details out there like that. I wouldn't have done that. Uh, but, but secondly, as an artist, I wouldn't have gotten on a song with him to do a song like that. It's too personal. I wouldn't have done it. So this song is just a bad look all around and it makes uh, August Alcina look real bad. I mean, really bad. Not a good look. August, at one point I did feel for you, but not anymore. You are what's wrong with men today. Too emotional. Can't pull it together. 
lot of weirdo type ways. Constantly stepping over that line. Can't tell what gender you are by your behavior. You got to stop all that damn crime, man. Pack your bags and move into another house. Start a new life. Suck it up, buttercup. No more talk. What the haters talking about?